All right, this is for Kong Zhu um, uh, from Facebook, and basically just give a video critique for him. Um, the first thing I noticed right off the, the bat is the kind of the pose the character is in. Um, what I would say right off the bat is, what's your anatomy? Um, when, like this leg is, this leg here is fine, um, but this leg one is very long. Like if you were to, let's draw center line, hips, and even with the downward stripe, the knee is probably comes around here, which is fine, but then this leg is way too long and it's broken. Um, it doesn't match properly, so I would um, more of like this, where the back heel is hidden. Um, I think that's that's uh, the big issue there um, that you want to fix that area and you want to fix that area right there um, it, it just feels off it feels broken um, especially since you you either are going to have it pointing towards the way he's falling um, so building up that that aspect there um, the other thing I see right off the bat is uh, the shoulder um, feels a little bit off and it's because of the center of the the neck and the head so what I would say right off the bat is I would just say move the head centered a little bit more a little bit more forward um, and let's kind of paint this back in here And I'm just going to rough that in real quick. And do you see how by pushing that forward, um, what you can do is get that that neck bent a little bit towards you. And then that also gives you the right amount of buff. Um, the hair, what I would say is make the hair go flowing outward like he's, he's coming down, falling, that type of thing. Um, the other thing, too, is going in your... Um, so if you're going to do your bow, get your bow in perspective. Um, so what I mean by that is uh, looking at the hands. This is the hand of the bow, like so. And then what you want to do is create a matching perspective point for that edge. And this would be perspective there. And so you see how this bow down here and this up here. So you need that to match that up right there. Um, I know you're having a problem with the uh, the clothing um, specifically. So the first thing is what I would say right off the bat is the clothing needs to be a little bit more fluffed out from the boots and stuff like that. Let's fix your leg real quick here. And Something like that. And let's put this back here, like so. And then what I would tell you to do is, like, I like the the dark blues that you have in there, but bring you know more definition into the way this this is bent. So if you're bending up here, you're gonna have more more or less actually less um, blend here so and then it'll actually be darker um, a little bit darker here because the light and I would go something like this and let's put in ankles I don't know it just looks broken to me yet um, and I think it's the, the shape here there we go. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's bring out. Let's bring out some of this here. And up a little bit more. And then something like this. That needs to be fixed here. 
but you get the point. Basically, it needs to be adjusted. Okay, so the next thing is you're having issues with the you're having issues with the um, the clothing, and the best way to tell you about clothing is uh, look for compression and look for um, tension and look for sag. So that being said, let's do the clothing here. Okay, so you're gonna have compression here. Don't don't make it equidistant. Make it um, make it more like a, a tree branch where everything's a little bit different. Um, so there's compression in there. You're going to have compression here. So basically what's happening is you're going to get compression in this area here. Um, you're going to get uh, probably compression here because, or, or tension here. Tension basically is going to create wrinkles. Um, so you're going to get tension there. This is going to be loose, but you're going to get tension around the knee. So which is going to give you kind of a, a stretch, something like that, around the knee. Same thing here is you're going to get a little bit of tension around this knee here. And then because it's tucked in the boot, you're going to get compression. And compressions are, are generally kind of an X pattern. Um, I always, uh, reading the clothier, um, the drawing clothed figure book, uh, basically the way they describe that is, it, compression is like this and these are the high points of the wrinkles and basically you'll get like holes and pivots and stuff like that and that's the way compression works is it's it's falling in on itself so you want to get your compression going uh, there and then you're also going to get compression going on the sides here and it'll wrap around so it'll be bigger here um, you want to get that aspect going on and then there's going to be a couple wrinkles here to define the, the, the bend because after a while, you know, like your blue jeans and stuff, depending on what you're wearing, you know, this is cotton, so it won't be as vibrant. But you'll have a little bit of a bend in there too. Um, and then the cloak around here. So if you're doing a cloak, you want to do... Um, Think of uh, wrinkles. So it's going to be compressed, but think of like building up the wrinkles and layers of you know how it's going around and that type of thing. And it's all bunched up on the shoulders because the arm is raised. Here it might flow off a little bit more and come over this way. And then basically, you know, you've got a um, you've got your cloak here. And then what it's doing is it's stretching here, but it's probably looping here like that. So you'll get some wrinkles in there. Um, and then, of course, you can make cuts and stuff like that out of it. Um, the background, I think, is good. I think it just needs... Uh, I think the big thing is the colors are okay. The big thing is you just need to define... Uh, start on the details. And then this leg is, is in severe need of... Of fixing I mean uh, you know just looking at it the way it is I'm just I think it's it's because it feels broken around the knee um, so I would define you know that a little bit like so and then you know I would bulk it around the knee a little bit and then you know especially if you're coming in here So bulk it around the knee, and then the knee just looks broken because it's bent like this. It just it's not in the right angle. So either the kneecap needs to be pushed over, or the um, you know something needs to be adjusted with it. But it's it's too long, and it's just got that broken feeling. Um, so I would fix that right off the bat too. Um, and then, like I said, the the bow needs to be adjusted because this handle would come up much more like that. And then um, the other thing too is the way the way the bow is being held. Uh, you want to adjust 
the bow so that he's grabbing the center. Um, because even at this, the center is going to be something like around here. And even drawing that back, what I would do is, let's, um, let's hide this layer. What I would do is uh, probably go with the bow. And I would bring the bow back up here a little bit more and then bring it up here a little bit more um, and that starts centering it a little bit I think um, because yeah you you want to have this centered precisely maybe even up here like that that's a better center um, because what's happening is just the way you shoot a bow here that needs to be adjusted so that's that's something I would fix there um, I think the hands in a good position I think like I said the hair needs more flowing um, and if you're doing like this cotton cotton kind of pants thing how is it being supported up because if it's loose it should have some sort of a belt or um, something like that and that it can be overflowing and you can give more depth more silhouette to your character this way um, so those are things that I'm looking at right off the bat. And then I'm not sure what's going on here in the, uh, the center chest area here. I don't know if that's a piece of, if it looks like kind of a piece of armor, but it feels kind of off. Um, and the reason it feels off is the way it's, it's attached. Um, looking at it, I would say the strap needs to come this way here and then attach further up and then the strap needs to come around and down and then if you're doing a another strap up here like this the problem is it's with no no real way to uh, pull it down what you probably want to do is wrap this around here and then come up and strap that here like this and that's going to give you a much better situated feeling um, for the the plate um, because right now it just feels like it, it it's more like a sash or a satchel or something like that um, and that's that's I think gonna hold it much better um, so that needs to kind of look uh, be taken in effect too but like I said the main thing fix the bow fix the 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 leg here and then I know you're looking for reference for this type of thing um, and honestly, I think the best, uh, the best thing to take a look at is, um, the one thing that pops off in my head is just some of the scenes from Indiana Jones, uh, the early one where he's in the desert and they have everyone, you know, people running around with those, those, uh, loose knit pants and stuff like that. Um, I think it would be great reference. Um, so if you get access to that movie or just some of those stills, you know, I think, um, that type of cotton pant and the, the cloaks and stuff like that that you're going for would be uh, just easily captured from those stills. Plus, it's a good movie, so even though they technically don't even need Indiana Jones. All right, I hope that helps.